I'm Kimberly Hart. I'm an instructor and practitioner of traditional healing medicine and a classical homeopath. I live here on the land of the Dakota. I began working in holistic health in 1993, and in 1997, I began uh, studying, living, and working with elders of the Maya. I didn't start teaching kind of what I think of as the foundational traditional healing curanderismo until 2006. I was in my own personal crisis and was receiving healing and help from conventional methods like psychology and more Western model type uh, medicine. But I felt something was missing. I wasn't, I still wasn't feeling whole and I didn't even know what that was. I became a massage therapist, Western trained, and through the course of that thought, oh, you know, wouldn't I, wouldn't it be great to be a natural, naturopathic physician? So I explored that and started um, putting out the message, you know, I think I'd like to learn by apprenticeship, but I have no idea what that would look like in this world we live in now. All of a sudden I was at a, a class for continuing education and this woman I was with was talking about this woman from Belize that she had gone and visited in Central America and all the hair on my head stood up and I got really dizzy and I thought, ah, I better pay attention. I then was so stimulated by traditional healing techniques. I learned rainforest herb. I learned what is loosely called spiritual healing. There's an entire medical system that is still carried to this day by the Maya. And that was my first introduction over many years, studying indigenous ways of medicine. Since then, have studied with several other elders. I now carry lineage medicine from the Maya, Aztec, Otomi, Nahuatl. And I have friends who we share in Dakota, Lakota, and Crow. As I stepped into this medicine and lived within the cultures in Central America, I was able to integrate parts of myself that I didn't realize I had um, set aside to function in this Western first world country uh, and started embracing more of who I am and more of who nature is and more of the energy of the spirits, guides, and the ancestors. When I stepped into this medicine, I felt my whole being just There, there is sense to be made of what I've gone through and ways and pathways to heal and come out of this a whole vibrant person that I'm supposed to be. The teacher carries the energy of spirit and is the one who knows when we're ready for something, whether we know it or not, and knows when we're not ready, even if we think we are. And that is, that is part of being in a cultural lineage. Studying with elders of the medicine that is a traditional way, Central America, which is a brown lineage, and then having an elder mandate me as a white woman to teach that medicine is something that is uncomfortable, and yet she has insisted that I teach this medicine to help spread the healing in the world so that the most possible people can benefit. As a white woman, I take this responsibility very seriously. It is an honor and I work hard every day to carry this medicine in a good way. And spirit is stronger than anything I could do. So it's not me, it comes through me. I do teach practitioners healing techniques. That is something I teach. But I also teach a basic 
nine month course. It's a course I wish I would have had before I started studying with elders on how to interact with elders and how to give and receive gifts and how to follow what they say and they're they're watching you at all times and you'll you know help avoid mistakes that are so easily made someone will come to me for treatment or for myself the question is always what was going on in that person's life when this started and the mental emotional and spiritual is always included in my life i'm doing the work I'm supposed to be doing. I talk about lineage and how important that is and encourage them to find their own roots. That's first off to get them thinking about it. And also through experiential work, so dynamics where they'll be interacting with each other and experience the feeling, the emotion, and the energy of it. Most of us have our most profound memories and experiences through what we felt about them at the time, whether that's positive or, or not positive. And for someone to take a teaching in deeply, that is what is needed, for them to experience the teaching in a visceral, emotional way. For me, it's a centering, a calming, a grounding, a lightheartedness, silliness, it feels different for everyone. But overall, uh, I can feel the community really strongly. The most profound experiences for me with students involve them finding themselves or their roots. And that can come with a lot of emotion or it can come with a lot of quietness, depends on the person. By the time a client reaches me, some part of them would like to have a change or a shift of some kind, and it's not always what they expect. I don't know what it's gonna be. First thing we do is talk. We talk and talk and talk, and usually they don't even understand why we're taking an hour and a half to two hours just to talk when they came in for check my belly. I'm a listener. I just listen and ask questions. From there, we might come up with a treatment protocol, uh, which might involve body work or herbs or, or spiritual healing, um, spiritual bathing, uh, Olympia, something like this. Omateot is a sacred word that is used sometimes as a closing to a conversation or a closing to a meeting or a ceremony or an energy that we might be building. It's more about embracing all of who we are and I see all of who you are and that includes the light and the shadow and part of the work that we do as we get deeper into the teachings is learning to embrace our shadow self and love that part of ourself so it's not pushed aside. We can't be whole if our Things we don't like about ourselves, or our history, our lineage are pushed away. So it's all about balance. The omateot is the balance. Adagio literally means at ease. It became holistic, adagio holistic therapies. The classes that I currently teach are cupping, and there's two levels to that. A combination of Asian techniques, Central American techniques, and ancient European techniques. I teach herbal classes, I teach flower essence classes, also abdominal therapy, both for people to treat themselves and also for practitioners to help others, and also traditional healing, which is the spiritual healing component. Someone who would take my classes would maybe be a practitioner of a healing technique. This would add to their practice. It could be a mom who just wanted to help her kids. It could be a dad in a business suit or someone who just was curious. I teach here at Adagio. I also teach outdoors. So we might do herb walks. Uh, we might do dynamics outside. We might go to a uh, North Native American Inipi sweat lodge. 
which I would not lead. We might go to Central America and I would do plant walks there. We do the teachings outside. We might do the teachings with water, ocean, river, cenote. In the jungle, I prefer teaching in the jungle, but we might go to the ocean. Belize also I've taught there in the jungle and at the ocean. How is it um, that we might help someone going through a difficult transition during a class? I always have assistance with my classes. They are learning to become teachers or just carry the medicine in a deeper way. So always that person is cared for if they need to be. Sometimes we just hold space. Sometimes we just listen. Sometimes we just sit in circle. Sometimes they'll need privacy and need some time and someone will take them and hold space with them around that. I feel like honoring the spirits at all times. I, I walk this path every minute of every day as much as I possibly can. I do have ceremony a minimum time number of times a year. I have ceremony that I need to offer uh, for community and there's ceremony that I do just for my connection with spirit. I feel that before I make big decisions I need to I need to pray about that. I need to sit with that. Um, dream on that. So it's it's every part of my life. Some students will take what they need and that's all, that one class, and that was enough. And some students will take what we learn together and find more teachers and have more learning. And, and that is important. Success to me is doing the work I was meant to do on the planet, and I feel incredibly blessed that I have found that. I, I hope there's reconnection. Reconnection to self, reconnection to each other, reconnection to what is important in the world. Relationships, the state of our planet, the state of everything. So that we're ready, regardless of how things progress. As hard as my work can be, it's, I love it. It's, it just, it feeds me. I, I can't imagine not doing it.